Hello everyone and welcome to a new video MC Mora here and in today's video we are gonna cover the character changes of course I'm gonna start with Ryu the booster boy of Street Fighter and Ryu is one of the most buffed characters this patch and I think he is now a really really strong characters for multiple reasons and he might actually be one of the most buffed characters from a season to season along the lines of maybe Ibuki and Guile going from season 1 to season 2 Ryu's now is really really good let's start with these changes and the first change they did is that his throw now leaves him closer to you he is plus 4 on a throw and if you notice a small micro walk and you get to throw them again which is really really nice and of course he also have a crouching medium kick that he can check you with so this is a pretty good mid-screen throw situation and of course in the corner it is really really good as well you can still kind of get the micro walk to grab right really good change of course always being closer to your opponent after the throw that is always good the second change is gigantic this is a very big deal what Capcom did is that his standing medium punch is now plus 2 on block instead of plus 1. If you don't play Ryu or you don't have that much experience, Ryu players were often doing standing medium punch, standing medium punch. And if your character had a 3 frame, they could always interrupt that. Now that is not the case. Previously, Ryu would get traded if it did a standing light kick, something like this. I delayed my standing light kick and that's why we traded. This was like the best case scenario. If he did a standing medium bunch, if you have character, if the opponent character was Kami, she could always mash her 3 frame and we will trade. Now Ryu gets this. Now this is real, he get a counter hit and he get a conversion and look at this beauty and of course we will get to that later because this was just a fantastic chain of events that leads me to believe that ryu is gonna be really really good now so this is the first change it's a very big deal it's very very important one kind of thing that they did is that uh, standing medium punch is now plus six instead of plus seven and this is because his sweep is now seven frames this used to be eight frames now it is seven so his sweep is one frame faster and seven frames is the fastest in the game. Now Ryu is tied to have the fastest sweep in the game. Always having a faster sweep is really good. So that is a pretty good change for him. And something you will notice is that his crouching medium kick is also one frame faster. So they buffed the crouching medium kick, it is faster. And the crouching heavy kick is also faster. Both of them are really, really good. One other really important change is his standing heavy punch. This is now special cancelable. Previously, you had to be in V-Trigger to special cancel this. And this is also a really good change because this is a crush counter normal. So now you get to actually do stuff like that and get conversions. Previously, you would only get like a to complete the target combo, but now you actually get this. Really good damage always having a cancelable heavy bunch of course this heavy bunch if you know is minus one on block so it's really good to fish for checking it with hadouken is gonna be really good it is pretty much a now a hit confirmable crush counter normal you can just walk around see this hit and then cancel into ex donkey and land mad damage this is very very good change there is a small nerf and that is his crouching medium punch in V trigger 1, this used to be plus 3 on block, now it is plus 2, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. So, this is, you know, this is kind of unfortunate, but we will get to why later. One of the other changes that Ryu got that I think is actually really good is that solar plexes can now be cancelled into V trigger. So, he gets to do that now. And this is also really, very good because this is plus 7 on block. So you notice that this standing medium match was actually a block string. So Ryu now can do something like that. And of course you get a crush. Plus 7 is very very good on a V-Trigger activation. The move moves him forward. So this is very very nice. Very nice changes. I think this one might not be that important in all honesty. But because Ryu players usually do fireball into V-Trigger activate. But still having this a, a forward moving... Heavy attacks, at least a combo, and his crush counter cancelable is very, very good. 
Now, one of the other changes that Ryu got, and this is also a really nice one, is that he have a new target combo. Remember that Ryu's target combo is standing medium punch, standing heavy punch, standing heavy kick. And if your opponent was crouching, this was what was happening. Your heavy kick would whiff on a crouching opponent, and Ryu would get punished. And if he also did the second part only, he was minus two. You were minus two on hit. Now Capcom gave you a new target combo. It is medium bunch, down heavy bunch, into, let's sh let me show you the inputs. It is medium bunch, down heavy bunch, into heavy kick. So this is really, really nice. Now Ryu can have a consistent low hitting target combo. This will hit crouching opponent. Now you don't have to worry if they are standing or if they are crouching anymore. You have your target combo. So that is really, really cool. It's a quality of life changes, Probably not gonna matter that much at high level play, but for beginners and for people who love Ryu but are not super into links and hit confirming everything, this is a very nice quality of life change. I love this change actually. It's really really good. Now, one of the other changes that Ryu got is changes to his Hadouken. Now Ryu's Hadouken have lesser hurt box in front of him. Usually, when characters are doing fireballs in Street Fighter V, they extend their hurt box forward. So, for example, if I'm using Ryu and I'm standing here, maybe I would have gotten crush countered from this distance, right? Kami is trying to hit me out of my fireball. Notice now it's actually pretty hard to crush counter Ryu out of his fireball. The hurt box is not really extended that much. So, this is very, very good for Ryu. Before, I am fairly certain from this range, Ryu would have gotten crush countered. Doesn't happen anymore because the hurt box is now reduced on his hand as the fireball is coming out. See this instance? This is less likely to happen now, right? So that is really good. Anytime you are safer when you're throwing fireballs, that is really, really good. Of course, it can still happen, but it is much less likely to happen because of the hurt box reduction. Also, one of the other changes that he got is that in V Trigger 1, when you charge it, it have a level 1 and a level 2. Of course, level 1 is 1 hit, level 2 is 2 hits, and now you can charge to level 2 faster, right? So this is a nice change, it, 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 because level 2 is safer on block, and it does more damage on stun. So that's really nice, 110, 200 stun from a fireball, that is really, really good. The same changes to the uh, Hadouken also happen to the EX Hadouken. Also, he he kind of have a, a the hurt box isn't as bad. And now this actually a the see that they increase the combo count for it. So I guess this means better combos with it. But I'm not sure how that will apply yet, right? I am not a Ryu player myself, so I'm not sure what this means in terms of juggles. But I assume that it, it, it could be, it is always good news, right? So these are the changes to his Hadoukens. And overall, really solid changes. It's gonna help him a lot with the neutral. We know that the V-Shift might be detrimental to his zoning, but he is less likely to get crush countered out of his Hadoukens. So that's really nice. The other changes are to his Shoryukens. And the changes to all his Shoryukens are actually really nice as well. If you notice, Ryu's now, his Shoryuken light and medium, they do more damage. So that is really, really good. His his light now does 110, medium does 120, heavy does 130, but that is what it used to do before. So the damage buff to his Shoryukens is really nice. Of course, it's really nice to get damage buffed on your moves. What you will notice is that his, his heavy bunch Shoryuken also have more range. So a, a, a combo like that might have whiffed before, right? Ryu players will always kind of force it to do light kick to Tatsu, but now this is more consistent because the the heavy bunch DB now moves forward a little bit more. It have a more of a forward headbox, which is nice. Now this is more combos consistency. You can now get something like, yeah, let's try it out again. You can now get something like this more reliably, which is really, really good always having better hitbox and more combo consistency that is always good and this also happens to his ex shoryuken uh 
uh, actually you can now they change it so that if the first head connect the second one will always connect or at least as consistently as possible sometimes the first head would link but the second head wouldn't like that and they made it so that it is less likely to happen right of course it still might happen like a freak accident every now and then but you know it is less likely to happen and they also added a new camera zoom in effect for example if you know if you land this in a juggle notice this new effect it can it will happen on an anti-air or on a, or in an air juggle you will get something like that it looks really really cool like that zoom in effect makes it looks a lot more impactful it looks like it really hurts right so that is really really good and this i believe also happens in v trigger one only this doesn't happen in regular but in v trigger one he gets this cool really cool zoom in effect i notice 180 damage 200 stun like that is a mad amount of damage on stun so it might actually be worth playing v trigger one to just to get this cool ass effect really really cool now here comes the really big changes for you and this is the one that i believe is gonna make the most difference Check this out. His Tatsumakis now hit crouching opponents. This is a very big deal. In the previous batches, Ryu would have to do donkey kick against crouching opponents, and he didn't get okay on the donkey kicks. Right? So, for example, he would combo that, and he would be minus 3 after a dash. Now, on a crouching opponent, he is plus 7, he gets meterless Oki. Now, because his Tatsu will hit crouching opponents, you can do something like this, and he gets meterless Oki. This is superb, this is a very big deal. Especially when you consider that his pressure is now better, thanks to his standing meteor punch. Look at this, like this is really, really good for you now. Meterless Oki, better pressure, and better throw game. So his entire pressure game is a lot better. His entire pressure game is so much better. Because now he gets to save his meter. Because you would either do donkey and get no meterless, you know, get no meterless Oki. Or you would do uh, EX Tatsu. And EX Tatsu would give you Oki, but of course you have to pay a bar for it. So before you had to do something like that, right? To get the Oki. But now meterless Ryu gets that. But of course, to compensate for it, Capcom nerfed the Tatsu damage. Now, if each one of them does less, ten, you know, 10 less damage. Which is kind of unfortunate, but of course, it is understandable. Because now, the Tatsus are the GOATs, of course. Like, this is such a big difference to this character. It's gonna make him so much better. They also increased the hitbox on the EX Tatsu. This is nice, the changes to EX Tatsus are really nice, but I don't think it is that necessary anymore. The one thing I noticed is that now he gets to do this. I don't, I'm not sure he was able to do that before, but you know, I think this is what they mean when they said that the um, busy box increased the combo count. I understand that this means that he gets new conversions, but of course you don't get to combo anything out of EX Tatsu. Except in the corner. In the corner, you get to do that. But he still doesn't get them, you know, outside of V-Trigger, he still doesn't get it. You see, you still have to be in V-Trigger to get the meterless DB. But now he gets to do that in V-Trigger, which is really cool. One of the other changes that Ryu got is that um, his donkey kicks now do more damage. Donkey kicks doing more damage is pretty nice. Because I guess after the changes to Tatsu's, Capcom had to find a new use for Donkey Kicks. So now they do a little bit more damage. You will notice that the Heavy Kick Donkey now combos even from medium. Oh, across the board, they do more damage and they are faster. One of the very biggest changes that happened to this is that now Ryu can combo EX Donkey out of Crouching Medium Kick. This is also a very big deal to him because remember what we said earlier you can you can now get this before the crouching medium wouldn't reach right so you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to do crouching medium into ex donkey but since now he can get that out of crouching medium kick 
this now is a thing he now gets to have conversions out of ex donkey or out of a crouching medium kick so this is really really nice it's a very big deal as well overall i think his pressure game and combo damage are gonna get a lot better now you also got the he got a really interesting change and it is that his berry in v trigger now actually increased the v timer so this is a very interesting change and this is actually two very big changes to the berry so one thing if you notice is that okay when ryu activates his v trigger his v trigger is on a timer now when he buries something he gets a little bit of v gauge and remember each one of them will actually contribute to more V gauge. So if it's multiple hits, he's gonna get multiple hits of V gauge. The second change, and this is a very big one, Ryu can now cancel the recovery of the V skill into EX uppercut. So now this is actually a thing. Notice that Kami was unable to land. This is kind of like Gil. He can cancel his parry into EX specials. So now you can actually parry and get to anti-air. It's a very big change, especially in V-Trigger. Right? But of course, even without V-Trigger, he gets to do that now. So really good change. It's really, really nice. It's going to make a lot of difference for you. Because I think you, he will be able now to parry stuff and punish with EX Donkey. So let's, for example, set a move like that. Notice now you will be able to parry and punish with EX Donkey. This is gonna be a very big deal. If you try to do that before, maybe the normal wouldn't have reached or she would have been able to block. But now since we are canceling the recovery, you are almost guaranteed a punish. So this is a very good change for you. He also had changes to his V skill too. It now have more active frames and you know, it, 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 it does a little bit more damage, but I don't think, honestly, I still don't, I'm not convinced with V-Skill 2 yet. I have to play it out to see how it, how it acts in motion, but it's still, I still, I still think V-Skill 1 is the way to go, right? Because like you see, this is still kind of inconsistent. Two more active frames is nice, but like you see, it's, I'm still getting counter hit out of it all time, all the time, right? So I don't know, but, but he doesn't throw them that far away. So V-Skill 2 buffed a little bit. But I, I honestly still wouldn't consider using it. I think V trigger one is the way to go. There is something that is very big. Very, very big. Ryu now have actual V triggers. And if you combine now that he has a little bit neutral, better neutral with the fireball, his pressure is a lot better thanks to Tatsu's and thanks to the standing medium punch buff. What is coming, what I'm gonna tell you next is actually crazy good. So first of all, his V trigger now, the timer got extended, right? So he gets to do more fireballs in V trigger. It's just longer timer, of course, is really, really good, right? Notice how long it's staying now. So that is a very good deal. Of course, a longer timer is really, really good. But one other change you got that's actually very big is that he had more frame advantage on his punch normals. His jab, his 3 frame is now plus 6. This means that Ryu gets this now. This is a 2 hit combo. Jab to medium is a 2 hit combo. Now Ryu kind of have Shun Li's V trigger 1. Notice this. This is actually a combo now. You actually get to combo without counter hit. You get to combo jab into mediums, into EX donkey, into whatever you want. So his damage output in V trigger 1 got buffed significantly plus six means that now you get to do jab medium tatsu into ex uppercut this is from a three frame jab three frame jab to medium tatsu very easy to hit confirm very easy to use this is a very big change i think now you and his v trigger one are a lot better honestly this is a very big change for him i really think this is really really good and with the added timer the, or the addition to a timer thanks to his parry both of them combined are gonna make the v trigger one a lot better now every count every hit of this is gonna count like a crouching medium bunch is now plus six this now combos without a counter hit so you get to do this let's check out like let's check out this combo let me show you the meterless combo that you got now 
So let's for example say that we're gonna do a meterless combo for you. Like for example, we're gonna do jab to medium. From a three frame, you get 274. That is very good damage. Of course, now he also gets to do stuff like that. But he always was able to do that, so this is not that big. But it's gonna matter a lot for counter hit conversions and just fishing in general, right? Fishing with stuff like that is really, really good. And he also now gets to do the uh, medium and medium uppercut after a donkey kick. Before you had to do the heavy, but now he also gets to do the medium. So that's really, really nice. It's a nice quality of life change that is gonna make him a lot more consistent. This used to be a corner only combo. But now he can do it mid-screen as well. So that is really, really nice. Now, Ryu also got a crazy change to V-Trigger 2. And V-Trigger 2 is also a lot better now. Ryu now honestly have legit V-Triggers. The change that Ryu got to V-Trigger 2 is that... Um, he, of course, had a new parry, right? And this parry was nice because it was two-frame parry. So, but that didn't change. What changes with Ryu is that you can now combo into it. So you can do something like Fireball into the new berry. And notice this was almost 230 damage. If you do one uppercut to the berry, that was 260 damage. So let's say, for example, that Kami is jumping in on us. Let's here save. We will record a recording of Kami jumping in. Right? Kami is now is gonna jump in. Ah, 260 damage out of an anti-air DB. Now Ryu gets to do insane damage out of a anti-air DB. That was a cross-cut DB. And now you get a ton of damage for it, right? And this seems to be very consistent. Like, I try to do it as late and as early as possible. And it is very, very good. This is going to be huge for the character. You get this out of Hadoukens. Even maximum range, like notice how far this was. Even if I hit a Hadouken in the neutral, like that, you still get to combo out of it. This is crazy good. Like one random Hadouken in the neutral, you confirm and you do mad damage. And let's check out some, let's check out like a combo like the one I'm going to show you now. Ryu gets a 421 bar damage mid-screen. Look at that damage output. Like now we have entered, officially entered this st stupid damage territory. Ryu does so much damage. And e every single hit will do that. You can even do something like the medium, the, the, the donkey kick into this, the fireball into this. Such a big deal. He does so much damage now with this V-Trigger. It's honestly kinda too much. I actually think it's too much. Now, his, uh, they made his super a little bit more unsafe. This used to be minus 17. The super used to be minus 17. But now it is not that much. It's now minus 25. So it is more punishable on block. But that's not a big deal. You will be doing this on hit anyways. And the final change he had is that apparently you can now juggle the V trigger, the, the CA a little bit better out of V trigger 1. I'm not sure what new combos will link from that now, but increase the combo count means that it is a bit better in combos. Overall, Ryu got buffed to the moon. The fireball buffs is gigantic. His neutral is better because of the fireball changes. Now that it, the hurt box is reduced, the crouching medium kick is faster, crouching heavy kick is faster, he have a better parry because now your parries are almost gonna guarantee two punishes. Even if you anti-air your opponent with a parry, you can guarantee a punish now. So that is really, really cool. He now also have a lot better pressure thanks to his standing medium punch being plus two, even on three frame characters. Characters now, he always gets to do, now he always gets to do meterless Oki, even if they are crouching, which is a really big deal. New target combo on crouching, which is a really big deal. From crouching medium kick, you get donkey, which is a really big deal. Overall, he got buffed so much. I honestly, honest to God, think that Ryu have the potential. I honestly think he could be top tier. He honestly could be top tier. 
tier. Of course, we will have to wait to see how the V-Shift will affect him because he is a fireball character and it does seem like they are negatively affected by V-Shift. But overall, he is massively buffed. Massively buffed. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. It helps the channel so much. Please consider joining the Discord below or consider supporting me on Patreon. All of the links are in the description. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.